Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll take you through how to program your new Big Vision DVR. Let's get into it. Once your DVR is fully powered on, the setup wizard will start. First step you're gonna do is select your system language and then you go next to continue. On this page, you will enter your new password for your device. You will then confirm the password by re-entering the password again. You will notice that the camera activation password, I have selected to use the device password as default. The setting is only if you are using IP cameras with your DVR. The next step you're gonna do is you're gonna enter an email address. In case you forget your password, it will send you a code to the email address and you can reset your password from that email address. Once completed, you will hit activate to save the password. You'll now be prompted to set your unlock pattern. You can do this pattern in any manner you wish. It will then prompt you to redraw the pattern. Once completed, it will take you through the rest of the setup. Select your time zone. Make sure your date format is correct, check the date and time as well. Once you have entered the correct time, you select next, bottom right. This will take you to the IPv4 settings. The easiest way is to enable the DHCP and it will automatically give you settings. Once completed, you will select next. You will now be taken to the heat connect settings. Select enable, read the terms. Select I have read the terms and I agree to service terms. Select OK to continue. You will see the device will go online hit next to continue this is where you would add ip cameras if you add ip cameras on your system hit next to skip this is where your hard drive will show up select your hard drive select the init which is initialize you will be prompted to initialize click ok once the hard drive has been formatted the status will change hit finish to continue next we'll take you through some basic configuration settings Right click to enter the menu, select configuration and we'll go through the settings on the left. We'll go to the heat connect settings to make sure the unit is online. If you wish to check the event settings, you can go to smart events, enable motion detection on your cameras, hit apply to save settings, select copy tool and select the cameras you wish to copy the setting to and click apply to save. Now you'll go through the schedule and also the linkage action. If you want to send notifications to your app, you will select notify surveillance and click apply to save setting. You will also copy to and select all the cameras you want the same linkage actions for. Apply to save and the record settings, the storage and the schedule will be there. You can change either from continuous recording to event recording which would be motion recording. This is where you select the days, apply to save, and then copy to all your cameras that's applicable. Click OK, apply to save. Now you can go through all the other cameras and make sure that the settings is disabled under the IP cameras as we are not using IP cameras. Apply to save, copy to IP cameras, click OK and apply to save. And this will stop the recording on any camera that's not on the system. Under the parameter settings, if you don't have any audio cameras, you will select the video stream as video only instead of video and audio. You can select the camera size that your cameras is at. This will only be applicable once cameras is connected. Once you are happy with the settings, click apply and then also you'll copy to the rest of your cameras. Click OK and apply to save. The DVR also have what we call expert mode and you'll see there's more menus available once you hit the expert mode you can change your vga hdmi resolution settings you can enable disable your password under the live view you can change the way the dvr displays the cameras so under general view you can select what type of block arrangement you want and under view you would assign cameras onto that block arrangement under the network general settings you will find your ipv4 settings under the dns I always prefer changing the preferred DNS to 8.8.8.8 and the alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4. Once completed, click apply to save. If you are using a DIN DNS, this is where you would enable it. Now we're going to go back to platform access, which is your HIC Connect service. Make sure it is enabled. If you're looking for the verification code, once the cameras has been added, this is the menu you'll find it. You can also edit the verification code to your liking. Next is the camera menu. Under the display menu, 
you can change the camera names to whatever is applicable next menu is the event menu we've already set up the motion thus far if you had smart cameras and the smart event is where you would set it up next menu is record menu once again the schedule parameters also you have to change the mainstream event from video and audio to video if you don't have audio cameras copy it to all your cameras click ok and apply to save next menu is your storage menu here you can add network attached storage if you had any in the building this is where you would add it i'll take you through the playback now top second icon is the playback settings you select your camera on the left you would select the date at the bottom and playback would start to go back to the main menu or the main view click on the camera icon which is the first icon top left if you need information regarding your machine you would go under the information icon which is on the top right if you went wrong with any of the settings during the setup you can quickly master reset or factory reset your device once you select factory default you'll be prompted the system will automatically reboot select yes to continue and the dvr will be reset to default and you can start over